through kissing. So before you go, but I'm just here to give you information. <laughs> My name is Adex Idriogana Omotola, or you can call me Adexi for short. I'm a medical doctor and a surgeon, and this page is basically about lifestyle in general. Now, this video was highly requested. I dropped the video a few months ago about the types of food to avoid when you have ulcer. I mean, I got emails, I got DMs, even under my comment section about people complaining. This is the same thing we get from patients in the hospital. Like, I'm in Nigeria currently. Patients are always complaining that, what are we supposed to eat then? You said we should eat this and eat that. What are we supposed to eat? That we are trying to starve them. Like, it's so funny. It's hilarious, right? So now, if you're wondering or you're curious about what to avoid, and you've not seen my last video, probably check that out you should definitely check that out before you watch this video or wait to the end of this video then you go check that out so in my last video i talked about like the types of ulcer right i mentioned that we have esophageal we have gastric and we have duodenal so duodenal ulcer is usually at the first part of the small intestine right while the gastric ulcer is when you have like a sore in this lining of the stomach i'm trying to tell you guys the, the difference so you know the type of ulcer that you have right because everybody just thinks oh everybody says i mean i have ulcer i have ulcer, I have ulcer. what type of ulcer do you have you have to know as well when you have the other ulcer you notice that the pain that you feel gets relieved after you eat while for gastric it depends on what you eat though but the pain increases after you eat for duodenal you notice that you have mostly dark stool and it's very very common in male but for gastric um there's always vomiting and weight loss so basically in all these things that i just said you would feel pain you would definitely feel pain like a sharp pain like a burning type of pain in your belly most times in your navel um between your breast bone when it get, when it's getting really serious it radiates to the back today's video is going to be about the causes of ulcer what actually causes ulcer because that is a very popular question as well wait 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 hold on hold on if you've gotten to this part of this video and you've not liked yet you've not subscribed please i mean what are you waiting for if you're really interested <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, click on the notification button so you get notified any single time I post a video. I'm back right now, I promise you guys. I've missed you guys a lot. Um, drop a like, click on the like button, share it to your family, your friends, your baby, and your boo. You know how it goes. Causes of also we have numerous causes of also okay? But there's one that's very, very common. Before we talk about that common one, the other causes are stress. I know some of you are like, stress yes baby stress stress drinking of extremely hot beverages some of you just can't do to wait for your tea to get cold you just like to be taking a hot hot the hot hot thing understand but take it easy painkillers steroids your ibuprofen that you you know you know those one that those pharmacy will just pack for you whenever you're feeling pain those ones drinking of too much caffeine cause it as well so what's the most common cause of ulcer a little batter let's just call it h pylori that's too much grammar h pylori is the common cause of ulcer most of you should have heard of h pylori but if you've not i mean that's what you hear right it is mostly found in the stomach but there are also ways that it's been spread we're gonna get back to that later okay so in proliferation the h pylori which is helical in shape i'll put the picture for you in the screen causes damages to the um mucus lining of the stomach but wait h pylori is not actually pathogenic i mean most of the time it is not pathogenic i'm sure most of you already know that you have acid in your stomach we have acid in our stomach yes that's what makes us um, helps us to digest our food. So when that acid becomes low, or when it's not enough, right, the pH balance increases, which is now alkaline. So in that action, the H pylori now 
overgrows and when it does that it causes ulcer because now it is pathogenic because of the decrease in the acid that's in the stomach do you understand me basically what i'm trying to say is ulcer was created by the lack of acid in the stomach not by too much acid because a lot of people get this thing misconstrued and we're just trying to pass good information so we don't get confused here all right how can each value be spread can be spread from person to another um for example like a contaminated food your utensils vomiting stool um saliva through kissing and oral sex so before you go on I know this is really hard because you can't be asking people that do, do you have ulcer before I kiss you before we, you know but I'm just here to give you information <laughs> right it's okay now that we all understand what ulcer is and what H. pylori is and I'm sure that like I've passed enough information let's now go to the food like the main reason of this video the type of food that you can eat so you don't get confused five minutes later all those things to the bean <laughs> get it from someone that actually have sense i'm sorry because most people are like ah, so if you go to party now we're not going to eat it da, 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 da. i always i'm always wondering like you know people just like there's nothing to eat anymore there's nothing to eat anymore a <laughs> lot of things to eat you cannot deceive us you are just stressing yourself and you're causing pain for yourself 